My name is Carrie Skanga. I studied printmaking at the University of Washington in the United States, where I earned the MFA degree. My work methods primarily are intaglio printed. I work with copper etching, and when I'm making very large work, I do dry point engravings on cardboard or plexiglass. Mostly my print works take the form of works on paper or print-based installations or artist books. Through my studio practice, I reflect on personal mythologies and I engage with theories of ecology, architecture, and design. I hope to achieve a sleight of hand in my work that enchants the viewer. For example, I want to make so many angles and folds with paper that the complexity dissolves into a volume, a form that can surround the viewer in softness and light. Or I want to make bricks, the very building blocks of our urban architecture that are supposed to be solid and steadfast, but make them hollow and as light as a puff of air. Or I want to take some functional stairs and create an irrational version of them that is light, transparent and floats in a circle, an infinite circle going nowhere. My most recent installation is called Sanctuary and it's a collaboration with the writer Emily Rapp Black. The idea is that this paper um, structure that can surround the viewer is set up in public space and it is meant to be entered and it's a very peaceful, tranquil space that's based on, um, on images, drawings that I made of water. So it's like water flowing around you. And you sit down at this boat-shaped table and there's a writing desk there. And um, there's a prompt given by Emily that is about um, writing your own story of embodied experience and change, or maybe there was a dramatic event of rupture, a medical experience, or some other experience of the body and friendship. The idea is that um, the installation will transform with every venue where it is exhibited based on what viewers submit. So um, I will need to reconfigure the paper components and um, we'll also embrace the, the ideas and the stories that viewers submit anonymously by weaving this new narrative. And so viewers are welcome to participate by giving their story to the piece or they can take away the artist's book that we made and offset printed which unpacks the ideas about community as sanctuary and the body as sanctuary. Emily and my theory is that resiliency is in the ways that we actually fall apart, in those experiences where we are as fragile or vulnerable as a giant translucent piece of paper. And in those experiences, when we feel that in our body and we're having that experience in community and we uphold each other, that we actually have the capacity to bounce back from an event of rupture. The paper panels in Sanctuary are based on um, ink drawings that I made of water. And the marks are made both as cuts and as monotype printed lines. Um, What's interesting about the monotype in this piece is that it's actually made with the laser at the same time that the laser is making the cuts. And the technique is called vapor printing. You paint a board with the design that you want to print onto your paper and then lay that board in the laser bed underneath the paper that you want to cut. And then you calibrate the laser to only cut the paper, not the board. And then as the laser cuts the paper, it burns the pigment off the board and the pigment is vaporized and, and adheres itself to the underside of the paper that you're cutting. So in doing this work with the laser, we're able to both cut and print at the same time. Once again, thank you for this opportunity to introduce myself and share my work with you.